Hello guys, welcome back. I'm your friend in Saxo. Today we will try to do an experiment to try if we can use a Python to control the OBS. First, we create a new repository. Then we do a clone. So what you need to do is first go to the first website. You will get into the OBS WebSocket repository. From here, we will try to download a release. Since we were using the Linux, we will just try to download the DB file. After that, we open that packaging and click the install button. It says that it depends on OBS Studio. So I cannot install it. Uh, even though I still got the web circuit server settings right in here under the toss tab of my OBS. This should be something that you would get if you install it right. Now for the simplicity, I won't enable the authorization. I'll just click the OK. After that, we go to the second URL, which will lead you to this page. From here, we're going to try to install packaging. That's it. All right, after the installation, let's go to the samples. For this folder, it got two files. I guess I'll just use the first one. We copy it to our main py file. Let's try if we can run this file. It says that connected. It got the default port 4444. We didn't set the secret. We didn't set the password, so it's okay. But the problem is how can we actually interact with the OBS or control our OBS? Uh, let's go to the second one. I'll just do a copy again. Okay, for this one, it says websocket.call call the request to get a scene nest. It get all those scenes. And for each scene in those scenes, we can get the, the LAN. And we can print it out, and in the end, we can uh, set that set to that scene. Okay, let's just run this file. Mm, let's just print out the LAN of the scene with two new lines around it, so we can see it clearly. Now you can see we got a scene which called a scene that's not new. Let's just um, add another scene. For this scene, I'm going to call it A, B, C, D. Uh, it's just an empty scene. I don't. I don't care about that. Let's just run this software again. Now you can see, instead of the scene, we got also A, B, C, D. So that's cool. At least we could get some information from our OBS. Yeah, but the problem is how can we actually control our OBS? Well, we do this by simply doing a WebSocket call. Let me write it down. Call request dot. Here's the scene. Under the request, we got uh, many different uh, functions to use. For example, for this one, create a scene. We can create a scene, oh my god. Or delete a scene item. Or we can get a call in a scene. Or we can get the recording status. I think this is very important. Uh, because sometimes you want to know whether your OBS is recording or not. Okay, enough gets. Uh, let's call the set. Set mute. We can actually disable the ADO channel of our OBS for uh, for some microphone for the microphone that you want to uh, disable, and also we can set the value of your ADO channel. Aha! We even got a function for the pause pause recording. This one is very important. Sometimes we want to pause it. And we even have a resong recording. That's even better. So with all those codes, let's say we can set the corner scene. So in another word, we can switch the scene um, with different scene name. That's good. And also we can pause recording if we do not want to record at that time. For example, for this case, I'll just call the pause recording for two seconds, then come it, uh, make it back. That's right. That's awesome. That's what I could say. It's awesome. Uh, at least we could be able to use the Python to control the OBS. 
I think it would be better if we can actually get the ADU in real time, so we can do some analyzation about it. That'd be awesome. I don't know if I can do that, but for this video, for this tutorial, or for this experiment, it is done. Okay, thank you for your watching. I will meet you at the next video. Bye.